The Enchanted Princess Once upon a time, a soldier called Achilles bade farewell to his comrades and set out for his home. After traveling for days, he was left with no money to buy food for himself or for his horse, and his home was still very far off. He was very hungry and tired when he came upon a large and beautiful castle. He entered the castle, put his horse in the stable, gave it food, and went to the palace. In one of the rooms, a table was set with the best foods and drinks a person could wish for. He ate and drank to his heart's content when suddenly a bear entered. <gasps> oh, don't be afraid. I am not really a frightful bear. Well, from where I am standing, it looks like you are one. Relax. I am a fair maiden, an enchanted princess, if you'd say. And if you will pass one night here, my enchantment will be broken. I, I am sorry, but I don't think I would want to stay a night in the presence of a bear. Don't worry, I will not harm you. The bear showed Achilles a portrait of a beautiful princess. This is me, Princess Paris. You're beautiful. Thank you. And if you stay the night and help me break my enchantment, then I shall marry you. That is my promise. I'd love to have you as my wife. All right, I will stay the night. Thank you, um... Uh, my name is Achilles. Thank you, Achilles. I shall see you tomorrow. Achilles nodded and the bear left. Tired from his long journey, he went to sleep. When the sun rose the next morning, the princess came in. She looked even more beautiful than her portrait. You have helped me break my enchantment, Achilles. Thank you, and as I promised, I want to get ready for the wedding. The wedding was celebrated and they lived happily together. Days passed and soon Achilles thought of his old home and wanted to visit it. Please don't go. Aren't you happy here? My dear, I really want to see my old parents. But do not worry, I will be back soon. Well, all right then. If you must go, then please take this bag of seeds. Wherever you go, throw these seeds on both sides of the road. Wherever they fall, trees will grow up. And from these trees, rare fruits will grow and beautiful birds will sing. Everything about you is so magical. I am so thankful to have married you. And I am grateful to have found you. Achilles kissed her hand and then left. Over the next few days, wherever Achilles went, he threw the magic seeds. And after him, trees rose as if creeping out of the earth. One day, in the middle of an open field, he saw a group of men sitting upon the grass playing cards. Near them, a kettle was hanging. And though there was no fire under it, the soup inside was boiling. Hello there, you good lads. You have a wonderful thing. A kettle boiling without fire? That is awesome. But I have something more wonderful. He took out one seed and threw it upon the ground. In a moment, a tree grew up with rare fruits upon its branches and wonderful birds singing around it. Where did he get those magical seeds from? It is only the enchanted princess who possesses these seeds. I think he is the guy who helped her break the enchantment that we casted upon her. He has to pay. Yes, let's make him sleep for half a year. Achilles did not know that these men were the magicians that had enchanted Princess Paris. They casted a spell on him, and Achilles immediately dropped from his horse and fell fast asleep. Soon after, Princess Paris was informed by her soldier that all the treetops were dry and dead. Oh, this is not good. Something wrong must have happened to my husband. 
she decided to go to look for him. She went by the same road over which Achilles had gone, and when she reached the place of the open field, she saw a wonderful tree, and under it, her husband. She shook him, called him, and even pinched him, but he did not move. Princess Paris became very angry, and in her anger, she cursed him. You sleepyhead! I wish a storm would raise you and carry you off far away to unknown countries. Hardly had she spoken these words when raging winds came blowing and whistling and raised the soldier and carried him off before the princess's eyes. The princess immediately felt sorry for her words, but it was too late. Oh no, what have I done? Oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, Achilles was carried by the wind and was thrown upon an island. By the time he opened his eyes, half a year had gone by. He awoke, jumped straight upon his feet, and looked around. How? How did I come here? Who brought, brought me here? As he walked along the sandy beach of the island, he saw three men fighting. They were the sons of a malicious magician. What is the matter? What are you young lads fighting for? Sir, you see, our father died and left us three wonderful things. A flying carpet, seven league boots, and an invisible cap. But we cannot seem to decide who gets to take what. Oh, you silly magicians. Stop your fighting. If you wish, I will divide the things between you so that everyone shall be satisfied. The magicians agreed. Now, do you see that coconut tree? The one with its leaves touching the ground? Yes. 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 Keep the three wonders in the ground near me and race to that coconut tree and back. Whoever shall reach me first shall choose among the three wonders. Whoever shall reach second shall choose between the two wonders. And the third, well, he will take that which is left. In a flash, the three magicians set out running towards the coconut tree. Achilles smiled and took the seven league boots, the invisible cap, sat down upon the flying carpet and went to look for his kingdom. After some time, he came to a hut and entered. There he saw an old lady. Good morning, Grandmother. I'm very hungry. Could you please give me something to eat? Certainly, son. Please, sit down. Achilles sat down, and the lady moved her hands in the air. Soon a grand table with the tastiest food appeared out of thin air. Wow, you, you're a fairy. I am a lot of things. Now shut up and eat your food. Achilles ate the food to his heart's content. And as soon as he was done, the table magically disappeared. Thank you so much for the food. Now, if you could help me with something else, I'd be forever grateful to you. Achilles narrated everything to the old fairy. And so here I am, trying to find my dear wife Paris. Please, tell me how to find her. I never understand you young souls, ready to do whatever it takes for love. Please, I love her. Not my problem. Please, please, please. All right, all right. I will call the wind and ask him. He blows all over the world, so he must know where she lives. She went out upon the porch and called in a loud voice. Oh, wind, come to me at once. Suddenly, from all sides, raging winds arose and blew so hard that the hut trembled. Calm down, you raging winds, and tell me if you have seen the beautiful Princess Paris anywhere. Yes, Grandmother. The beautiful Princess Paris lives in a new kingdom. 
her husband disappeared when in a fit of anger she cursed him not knowing that he was under a spell by the evil magicians she regrets her action and still longs for him but now different kings and princes come to her every day to ask her hand for marriage and how far is it to that kingdom it will take 30 years to walk there 10 years to fly upon wings and if i blow i can carry one over in just three hours <coughs> show off excuse me please oh mighty wind i beg you to carry me to my princess first of all calm down and secondly i will do it if you will allow me to reside in your kingdom for three days and three nights i don't care you may reside for three weeks if you like all right then get ready for the journey but do not be afraid i will not hurt you <coughs> show off excuse me nothing i said nothing not a thing suddenly the strong wind whistled and blew achilles was raised in the air and carried over mountains and seas right under the clouds and just three hours he was in the new kingdom where the beautiful princess lived goodbye young man i pity you and do not want to stay in your kingdom um why is that because if i begin to move not one house will be left in the cities not one tree in the gardens i will overthrow everything i am the mighty wind such a show off excuse me goodbye you strong mighty wind thank you for your service to me achilles put on his invisible cap and went into the palace. He entered the large room. Around the table, there were sitting all the many kings and princes that had come to woo Princess Paris. When one of them offered her a diamond glass as a present, Achilles hit upon the glass and broke it. All the guests were surprised. Just then, the bag of seeds that she had given him dropped from his pocket. Princess Paris immediately recognized it. He is here. Ecstatic, she gave to her guests a riddle to solve. All right, gentlemen, riddle me this. I had a wonderful handmade casket with a golden key to it. I had lost my key and had never expected to find it. And suddenly, the key has found itself. Whoever shall guess the riddle shall be my husband. All the kings and princes tried guessing the answer, but it went in vain. My love, if you are here, come on out and show yourself. Achilles took off his invisible cap, took the hands of the princess, and kissed them. Here's the key to my riddle. The casket is myself, and the golden key is my faithful husband. Who would have guessed? <laughs> All the kings and the princes frowned and left dejected. Princess Paris and Achilles hugged each other. I am so sorry, my love. My anger got the better of me and... Calm down. The wind told me everything. I am not angry, but glad to have found my way back to you. Thank you, my love. I promise to never lose my temper ever again. As long as you do not send me off to a faraway island, my love. <laughs> <laughs> the two were very happy to be reunited. Princess Paris sent her guards to bring Achilles' parents to the castle so that they could stay with them. Achilles was very happy and loved the princess even more. Princess Paris never lost her temper again. And as for Achilles, he learnt a few magic tricks from his wife and was happy to use them whenever he could. <laughs> <laughs>